I can't tell you a lot of things. I can't tell you if I'm not surprised or if I just can't feel surprised anymore. I can't tell you where or what I am. I can't tell you how I died. Hey, hey, sorry. Can't let you drop over time again. He's my roommate. Sure, Mark? Yeah. How'd you know? We've been investigating Jack for some time. The name came up. Sorry, you know you must hear something as well, okay? Mind if we ask you some questions? There's some things that you think I don't know about a barn being an accident. Do you know anything about it? Not that I can recall. Has he been acting weird, pardon me, for a fate, or what? He's always been weird. He's the weirdest person I know, ever since day one. And, and why is that? I just got to the chase. I just need to know if he's capable of committing arson. Hey, take it easy, Gil. We've known each other just for a week. Well, I don't know. He's always upset about something. Did he ever talked about it? Did he ever mention Vancouver? Only thing I know about Vancouver is that he told me he lost everything there. Same here. Thanks for your time. Okay, just a couple more questions. Okay. Oh, okay. oh just a few weeks now. Um, oh. Ah, just since I met him since the... So much is veiled in darkness. I can't see anything. I think I was expecting this. Dying. Was I prepared? I remember my opportunity to kill him. I wanted to more than anything. Something was clawing at me from the inside. Overwhelmed with adrenaline at the thought. I couldn't. I know someone would turn up with some information. But there's fire, there's soul smoke. Exactly. For starters, I need to know, what do you see when you see the suspect? I was uh, on my way to school. I used the park as a shortcut and uh, just past the hill to the left, I could see him through the trees. The footprints can confirm that, though I'll need some more detail. What did he look like? Uh, I couldn't see. He was wearing a hood. He was tall. How long have you been in Toronto? How'd you know? The luggage. You know, since the start of the semester, of course. <laughs> what program? <laughs> You're asking a lot of personal questions, detective. I reached out so I can do my part and help you guys catch the arsonist, not so I can have some detective snooping around me. So defensive all of a sudden, eh? Relax. I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm curious too. But you don't see me asking a bunch of questions. I'm curious as to why you reek of alcohol at this early in the day. I'm curious as to where you're from because I know you're not from here. But you don't see me asking those questions. Thanks for your time. How do you do it? What? How do you lose everything? and still have the will to start over. What made you think? Not only an alcoholic carries around that stench on a Wednesday. Thanks for your time, man. Damn, Bill, if I say babe, that means fucking babe. It's fine, you didn't miss much. What the fuck, what's wrong with you? I'm your partner. Hey, man. Hey, babe, you. I remember feeling like I failed. Not just myself, but I failed her. My sister. What now? I reeled him in, but couldn't kill him.
Your job, right? And work. Nice to meet you. How was the flight? Yeah, it was alright. That's good. There's beer in the fridge. You'll like it here. I'm not gonna be around for long. I left Vancouver chasing him. She, she the him? man who ruined my sister. A cop. She may never be an alcoholic one. Thank you. See, this man had no control. He would drink till he would lose his mind. Till he would ruin another's life. One night he lost control and did horrible things to my sister. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I swear to God, Annie, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna make that bastard pay. They had both known each other since school. The night before the incident, they had ran into each other and decided to catch up over drinks. She told me who she was going out with that night and no one else. I told the cops that it had to be him after it happened. They chose not to believe me, even though they knew it was him. His colleagues hooked him up with a new job in Toronto to give him a second chance. They found her in an alley she survived her injuries, but she's traumatized. She was unable to point him out, and so he walked. Ready? Meet me in my parking lot. I know who's the arsonist. Jack. Where did you find me? The car. I think I did it. When I realized I couldn't get myself to kill the detective, I thought it was over for me. I wanted to take my life more than I wanted to end his, which sparked an idea. Though I needed help, I needed a tool, and Mark just happened to be it. Someone whom you didn't have to say too much to and they would do as you ask. I told him about my sister and I told him about the detective and how I couldn't kill him. To my luck, the guy was not phased. So I asked him to do some favors for me. One would be to pick up a knife from the parking lot, which he was confused about, for that's all I told him. Two, to drop a certain note off the day after he picks up the knife. Mark, if you've done everything I've asked, then the pieces should be falling into place by now. You see, since the detective forgets himself while drunk, I chose to do it on a night which I knew he'd be drinking. I've been following him, so I know. I'm sure he'll begin to question himself if he finds the note you were supposed to drop off. He'll make the connection. He'll believe that he had met up with me that night, drunk, and with blind rage murdered me. You may believe it wrong to frame a man for something he hasn't done, but this man deserves to see the inside of a prison for the crimes that he hasn't been convicted of.
Huh? <sighs> 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 <sighs>